there is wreckage of vessels, ship and aircraft wrecks. There could be thousands that we just have not found yet. My job basically entails monitoring any historic asset all about as far as Northern Ireland's territorial waters. So we have 380 known ship and aircraft wrecks. So most of those are shipwrecks, not aircraft wrecks. So we are in the harbour in Ballycastle. The dearest scientific vessel is going to take us out to Rathlin. And we are going to visit the site of the Loch Garry, which was a World War II transport ship got into difficulties in bad weather and ended up striking the east side of Rathlin before it went down. They had to abandon ship off the east coast of Rathlin. Unfortunately, one of those lifeboats sank, so there was a loss of at least 25 crew at that time. The other 25 crew suffered a lot of exposure before some of the islanders rescued them. So the boat itself is in over 30 metres of water and we're going to take some sonar scans. We're getting resolution down to about five centimetres, so anything any lump, bump, literally the file that comes out of the, of the, the computer, you can put into a 3D, 3D uh, printer and print a model of, of the shipwreck. By doing this really highly detailed scan, that will allow us to see if anything changes over time. We have a, a limited resource. We currently only have full protection for four. The Loch Garry is very significant because it was one of the one of the ships that actually took part in, in the Dunkirk evacuations and recently it has been scheduled for protection so that bits of it don't get removed or it doesn't get damaged. It's a bit like going to, I don't know, say Scrabo Tar with a lump hammer and knocking chunks off it. It's against the law, you wouldn't do it. So why would you do it to uh, something underwater? It's out of sight, out of mind, you know, people look out there and they see a grey expanse. So there's archaeology just out of sight of land are historic assets, they're, her they're heritage assets, they tie us to our past. 